Good rating, everyone. Black Shark here. Welcome back to another episode of Portal 2. Let us continue with the uh, single player story. Okay, so we have ended up here, right? In the old aperture. Alright. Motherfuck. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> that was not it. Uh I mistake. Mistakes have been made. Just a heads up, we're going to have a superconductor turned up full blast and pointed at you for the duration of this next test. I'll be honest, we're throwing science at the wall here to see what sticks. No idea what it'll do. Probably nothing. Best case scenario, you might get some superpowers. Worst case, some tumors, which we'll cut out. Nice. If you've cut yourself at all in the course of these tests, you might have noticed that your blood is pure gasoline. That's normal. We've been shooting you with an invisible laser that's supposed to turn blood into gasoline, so all that means is it's working. Cool. Uh... Hmm. What the fuck? Am I... Mind? Yeah. 
Fuck yeah. Great science is built on the shoulders of giants. Not here. At Aperture, we do all our science from scratch. No hand holding. Hmm. That's interesting. <clears throat> so basically, they figure out like literally everything. Like all the innovations, all the stuff. Huh. I mean, I did play the game once, but that was like a few years ago, so I don't remember everything. All right, let's get started. This first test involves something the lab boys call repulsion gel. You're not part of the control group, by the way. You get the gel. Last poor son of a gun got blue paint. <laughs> All joking aside, that did happen. Broke every bone in his legs. Tragic, but informative. Or so I'm told. A potion gel. All right. All right, good to know. Mm hmm. Hold on, there is supposed to be test or something This fragment I really don't remember. The lab boys just informed me that I should not have mentioned the control group. They're telling me I ought to stop making these pre-recorded messages. That gave me an idea. Make more pre-recorded messages. I pay the bills here, I can talk about the control group all damn day. Right. 
Should I? Like that? I guess. Uh, no. For this next test, we put nanoparticles in the gel. In layman's terms, that's a billion little gizmos that are going to travel into your bloodstream and pump experimental genes and RNA molecules and so forth into your tumors. Now, maybe you don't have any tumors. Well, don't worry. If you sat on a folding chair in the lobby and weren't wearing lead underpants, we took care of that too. Oh, okay. in case you got this. covered in that repulsion gel, here's some advice the lab boys gave me. Do not get covered in the repulsion gel. We haven't entirely nailed down what element it is yet, but I'll tell you this, it's a lively one, and it does not like the human skeleton. Nice. Freaking amazing. I mean, the writing dialogue, the dark humor in this game is freaking top notch. Even after all of these years. All these science fears are made of asbestos, by the way. Keeps out the rats. Let us know if you feel a shortness of breath, a persistent dry cough, or your heart stopping. Because that's not part of the test. That's asbestos. Good news is the lab boys say the symptoms of asbestos poisoning show a median latency of 44.6 years. So if you're 30 or older, you're laughing. Worst case scenario, you miss out on a few rounds of canasta. Plus, you forwarded the cause of science by three centuries. I punch those numbers into my calculator, it makes a happy face.
right, I got close. Not fucking figuring out. How would I? The fuck would I get up there? Hold on. Oh fuck, of course. No, yes.
Okay, now. What is this? Well, let's see how's that gonna work. Oh, yeah! Just a heads up, that coffee we gave you earlier had fluorescent calcium in it so we can track the neuronal activity in your brain. There's a slight chance the calcium could harden and vitrify your frontal lobe. Anyway, don't stress yourself thinking about it. I'm serious. Visualizing the scenario while under stress actually triggers the reaction. Also, I don't recall if playing the game the first time I knew that Cave Johnson was voiced by Jay Simmons. Basically the guy that played uh, J. Jonah Jameson uh, in Spider-Man that got that role in Whiplash. That was pretty severe, intense. But good. Um, there was like something else, I'm, I believe. Now, if you're part of control group Kepler 7, we implanted a tiny microchip about the size of a postcard into your skull. Most likely you've forgotten it's even there. But if it starts vibrating and beeping during this next test, let us know. Because that means it's about to hit 500 degrees, so we're gonna need to go ahead and get that out of you pretty fast. That's not gonna work. 